Now let's get to setting up this tent. Come on, dude. Get out of here, stinking bug. What's up, everybody? This is Tubasolo coming at you. Are you interested in the Hyperlight Mountain Gear Ultimate 2? Are you bummed out that you just can't seem to find a good video of that half insert? Well, stick around because I got something very special for you guys. What's up everybody, my name is Steve and this channel is all about hiking, backpacking, and enjoying the outdoors in Southern California and beyond. If that interests you, consider subscribing. Now let's get to checking out this tent. Alright, so what's up everyone? I um, just want to show you guys this uh, little piece of kit that I have here. Uh, for those that know what they're looking at right now, that's, this is a, uh, a Hyperlite Mountain Gear Ultimate 2. Right there, Hyperlite. And uh, yeah, this thing has quite a bit of room, I must admit. I'm quite shocked at uh, how much space there is in this thing. I am going to uh, give this thing a go-to with, uh, with the half insert, but um, yeah, that just kind of gives you an idea there of what you got on the inside. So right through here, this kind of gives you gives you an idea as far as space is concerned. There's definitely plenty of floor space. Now, if I had any sort of concerns, it would be um, the walls sloping in. That part um, might cut into some of the space, but as far as floor space, when you lay down, boy, I can't imagine you wouldn't have space for two, three people maybe in here. Let's go inside a little bit deeper and look look up at the top. There you go. That's the uh, the apex of the tent. You got a couple of vents. You got one vent right over there, and the other vent right over there. But yeah, that's the apex of the tent, and um, right now I've got it set up with the Ruta Locura uh, pole, the 710 pole, which I must add is vastly simpler than using the straps. So if you have the uh, option to get that pole, I would strongly advise it. But yeah, here you go. Gives you kind of an idea of what, um, what we're looking at as far as the inside. Certainly plenty of space. So that's the whole tent over there I'll try to back up a little bit as much as I can here now as far as its actual space that it takes up it does take up a lot of space but I do want to say that it doesn't seem to take up more space than you would like let's say if you had a tarp for example I mean it's very very close to that level of space as far as uh, you know floor space so, I mean, that was one of the concerns I had with this thing is this, it's so massive on the bottom end of it, would it take up more space? And yes, it definitely takes up more space than say like a duplex, for example, but uh, it's definitely not any more than if you were to do like an eight by 10 tarp. At least it doesn't appear to me that it would be any different. But yeah, there you go. Let me go ahead and open up that second door. We'll take a look at that. And yeah, look at that. I mean, there's just tons and tons of space in there. Let me go ahead and grab a seat in there so you guys can kind of get an idea. I am six foot, roughly about uh, 280 pounds plus. So I definitely am not uh, any sort of a small fry. Now you'll notice at the pole, I have it kind of off center a little bit because that's one of the things that's really cool about this thing. If you're just like a solo person in this tent, you can set the pole off center and it'll still work fine and that'll actually give you more room in the center portion of the tent where it's biggest 
um, or rather the shelter where it's biggest. So let me go ahead and grab a seat in there and you guys can kind of take a look at what the, we got before I put the half insert in there. Okay, so I'm roughly sitting at about the center of this tent right over here. I've got this pole moved out to the side. And uh, yeah, this thing definitely is close to me, but I definitely have, you know, I've got this kind of tip backwards too, so I can always straddle the pole in some fashion or even go in front of it a little bit when you imagine that the door would be in front. There certainly is plenty of space to just sit up. What's really cool too is there's even space to kind of, uh, kind of stand up even if I wanted to, worst case scenario. Um, maybe not as much as the Altiplex, for those of you that watched the Altiplex video that I did, it seemed like there was a little bit more space in the Altiplex to actually stand up. So maybe the walls of the Altiplex don't, don't veer in as bad, but um, that's not necessarily a bad thing because I would think that with these kind of steep walls coming up to a pyramid point, you're definitely gonna have a lot better result when it comes to wind, uh, when it comes to wind management with the Ultimate. So even though you have a little bit less space overall up, up around the head, it's actually more beneficial, especially if you spend time in windy locations or up on high peaks and uh, what, uh, what have you, kind of some of the stuff that I typically tend to do. So uh, yeah, good stuff. Let's uh, go ahead and get that half, uh, that half insert in here and see what we got. Okay, so the half insert, um, let's see if I can show this to you guys in front of the camera here. Hopefully it focuses on me instead of the background. The half insert over here, there's like a little cup that um, goes up in the top of the, the peak and then this thing just hangs and essentially you just put the pole in there and then this hangs. Now I did make one modification which I'm going to show you guys but I initially wanted to show you guys how the, um, how the setup was originally so you guys can kind of see how it all operates and then I'll show you guys the little clip. Um, the uh, Here we go, the little clip modification that I made which I think makes this just a smidge easier than using this. That way you don't have to take the pole down Put this in there and reset the center pole. You can just clip it up into the peak. But let's go ahead and get this thing inside the uh, tent right now. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea of what the half insert looks like. And uh, let me go ahead and move in a little bit. I went ahead and I added my trekking poles uh, down towards the bottom over there to kind of square up the, the floor so you can kind of get a good idea of how, how big this thing is. It's actually incredibly spacious. I was quite surprised at uh, the overall space of this thing. Let me fix one thing here. But yeah, when it's all completely kind of squared out like that, there's actually quite a bit of room in there. And uh, yeah, it does kind of tip in um, towards the, uh, the head up there. But it's actually not bad. When I sat in there, I was actually quite surprised at how well it actually worked. Um, one other thing too that I've got kind of set up here down at the bottom, I went ahead and I just added um, a stake over here, but typically you would um, put this in to the uh, uh, the stake where that door right over there, right there, you loosen that up and you put that door down. That's where you would typically put that in, but I just grabbed the stake and threw it out there. But um, I'll go ahead and show you guys in a little bit, but I'll leave the door open for now so you, can, you guys can kind of take a better look at the, uh, at the, um, uh, the half insert here. And I actually just noticed right now that I need to go ahead and gussy up that uh, top portion over there. You see how it's kind of angled weird? And that should, um, when I do that, it should kind of take care of that little saggy side, hopefully. Let's go ahead and see uh, what happens here. There you go. That actually looks pretty good now. And uh, let me back up a little bit so you guys can kind of take a better look. And uh, that kind of brought up that side over there. Maybe a little bit too high, but still nonetheless, there's ample amounts of room. And this is kind of what I was getting at, especially if you're using this as a uh, solo shelter. If you can move that pole over to the right a little bit, you could bring that half, half insert away from the wall. It doesn't have to be all the way attached to the wall. And then you actually end up with a heck of a lot of room. So let me go ahead and hop in there. 
and then you guys can kind of take a look at uh, the size of this half insert. I'll go from the side over here and then I'll move the camera again and uh, hop in there one more time so you guys can see it directly from the front. Okay, so this is me just sitting up in the, uh, in the half insert. Yeah, this thing is a little bit on my head, but I can also move over just a little bit, and that's not really there. But if I were to lay down, and sleep, I'm not getting very close to the walls at all. I still have some room over here to move over. Totally doable. I definitely have enough room over here too at the uh, the head and the foot too. Um, I may bring out my uh, my pad, my sleeping pad, and we'll we'll take a look to see what the uh, what it looks like with the sleeping pad in there. I'm going to go ahead and change the angle again, and uh, I'll show you guys from the other side here. On view. Um, Now again, remember, I'm a really broad-shouldered guy, so if you're a smaller frame person, this is not even gonna be an issue. And honestly, if you look at this as just a sleep chamber, um, this is more than enough room for a sleep chamber uh, to get away from the bugs um, that, uh, yeah, could be plaguing you. But yeah, I mean, this is certainly ample. Um, if you do get a little bit claustrophobic with netting, it may not necessarily work for you, but um, I certainly feel like there's ample amounts of space in here where I can kind of relax and uh, yeah not bad at all Eat up a little bit there yeah good stuff and if you're wondering how the ultimate uh, holds that door open it looks like it's just a piece of uh, um, kind of like the same cordage that comes to guy out the uh, tent and you just kind of tie it off and it uh, stays wide open plenty of room so let me go ahead and get a, um, a uh, Z light pad in here that way we can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at as far as space that will kind of give you a little bit better idea of uh, how much space is in here one thing also that I wanted to make mention so I can get this on video is uh, right here these zippers Boy, it just seems like everything is so high quality on these. These zippers move so nice. They're YKK, really big, nice zippers. Cool, cool looking pull tabs. But yeah, it just seems like the construction on this thing is, uh, is top notch. Love it. Okay, so that's what it looks like with a Z-Lite pad um, in there. See if I can get a little bit better shot here. And again, if you're a small frame person, or just like an average frame person, you are going to have ample amounts of space. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a big framed guy, and uh, I don't feel confined in here at all. I mean, it's actually, I'm really quite surprised. Um, I really thought the half insert was going to be a lot smaller and really not uh, be very adequate, but this is, uh, this is incredible how much uh, space there actually is in this thing. I'm quite impressed, I have to admit. 
that's what it looks like from uh, the side over here. Let's tip that down just a smidge so you can get a better look. One other really cool thing too, I'll show you guys, see if I can maybe even zoom in on this. Along with having an uh, ample space with just a half insert by itself, what you can also do is you can, um, if you wanted to, you could put a uh, tent stake uh, in there also and kind of straighten out the floor if you so wanted to. But I mean, it seems like it's perfectly fine the way it is. But uh, if you ever if you ever wanted to, you can. You got that on all four corners. And actually, what I think I'm going to show you guys is how the half insert can pitch by itself. If you ever wanted to take this as a uh, solo shelter with, uh, with a little bit of room, um, this might be an option for you. So we'll go ahead and give that a go as soon as I take down everything. But um, along with all that, I want to show you guys the uh, space on the other side of the half insert. There's certainly plenty of space to be able to, uh, to work, with, uh, work with over there. And uh, yeah, again, this is just, this is amazing. I really, really dig this shelter. Let me go ahead and close the door and show you guys what it looks like with the door closed. And I'll go ahead and I'll attach that. Um, I'll attach that corner to the door like it's supposed to be done and that way you guys can take a look at that Now you guys can actually see what the half insert looks like with the door shut and uh, Yeah, it looks great. I mean, there's certainly ample space um, If we look over here in the corner So I could zoom in there see how it uh, attaches right there and it uh, just attaches with a mitten clip on uh, the inside and uh, the the half insert can also be placed in either side it doesn't have to go on this left side you just basically flip it around and uh, you can put it on the opposite side that's just the side that I've been uh, when I've been doing my test pitching here in my yard that's the side that I've been putting it on but uh, yeah all in all <laughs> great shelter wow I could definitely see where all the hype comes from this uh, from this shelter. Good stuff, Hyperlight. Love it. Okay, let's do one more thing. Let's go ahead and bring the camera into the tent as I close it. We'll uh, go ahead and set up here. See, we're as far wide as my lens will take us. But uh, there we go. So, again, super strong zippers. Oh, open it up. Instead of closing it. And then there's a, uh, a snap over here to hold that shut. But there you go. This kind of gives you an idea of what what kind of room you have in here. Let me turn this so I can actually see myself. But yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of what kind of room you have in here. Again, very broad-shouldered guy. I'm nowhere near the uh, the walls, and the half insert is still in here. Um, again, I could adjust the pole. I can move it. If I needed to get a little bit more space for the for myself or bring it over this way if I needed more space for the half insert to get in and out but um, yeah again I'm absolutely blown away with how much space there really is in this thing I, I really didn't think there would be much just with the peak the way it is but uh, yeah it's quite amazing okay and one other really cool feature I wanted to show you guys is actually if you needed some venting you could open up the uh, you could open up the vent, or rather not open up the vent. You could open up this front too to get a little bit more venting. And um, as far as the vents that are up here, they're just uh, basically they're just Velcro, and you open them up. And uh, there sure are a lot of bugs in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see them on the camera, but man, they just uh, swarmed up there to the top. But yeah, since you got your vents right up over here. And you just get these, these guys bring them down. One other cool thing is that there's some, uh, you can see them here, some D-rings 
right over there and you can go across to the other one over there and then you can actually hang stuff through here if you wanted to and then uh, one other thing that I want to show you guys was the mod that I had created essentially see this tiny little clip right over here okay so you can use that that cup up there which is actually pretty cool but I went ahead and just did a little mod also and uh, let me clip that first and then you guys can see kind of what I'm doing All right, so we pretty much got like a little clip in here that I attached to the peak up here. And instead of using that cup, you can just use clips and have that hang down. But that was just a little mod. But honestly, using that cup was so easy. I think I may just remove that mod and just keep it like normal. Um, how it came from the factory. Now, if I had to pick some uh, downsides here, because every single shelter has some downsides. None of them are really truly perfect. But um, if I had to say that there were any downsides to this, if you're using the dual insert, see how the door kind of hangs right over there? Um, if you're using the dual insert, yeah, if it is raining, you may get uh, some rain on you. Um, so you may want to, you know, you definitely got to kind of plan ahead for that if you're going to be getting out of your tent and you're using the dual insert. What I envision is that what you could do is essentially you'll unzip and unclip from this corner right over here and then push the insert in and you actually step onto the ground that way when you open up the door, any water that falls in will just fall on the ground and the insert is kind of pushed back. That's probably the only way that I can figure you could mitigate that problem if you have the double uh, insert. But for the single insert, again, you're completely covered. You can open, the, the, open up the door without any worry of really getting, uh, getting wet. But uh, that's one of the negatives. And uh, one other negative, um, you know, just a lot of fiddle faddle with all the stuff on the inside, I guess, you know, I mean, it's not, honestly, it's not that bad and it sets up super duper simple. But again, it's definitely not something as simple as like, uh, let's say an Altiplex, for example, or like a, a Plexamid, where it's literally just, you know, a couple guy lines and um, erect the pole and then you're done. Um, from here, you know, like with this one, it would be more, you know, put down the four corners, erect the pole, get the other four set, and then you got to uh, put the insert in, which, you know, again, um, if you're not into that kind of stuff or, you know, you don't want it to take too long to set up, that may be a drawback for you. Uh, one last drawback other than the size, which I kind of mentioned earlier, the size is obviously big, but no bigger than a tarp, uh, is also the weight. Um, it is definitely heavier. It's around 30 ounces. So when you compare it to something from like Z-Packs, uh, it is double the weight, but I mean, there are definitely upgrades that uh, make this very desirable with the wind, uh, um, shedding abilities and uh, um, just yeah the robust construction I mean it definitely looks like it's gonna last for DCF there you go there's one last uh, setup option that you have you can set that up with uh, with just a pole by itself essentially you just hook everything in with four stakes and you get yourself a cool little net tent Let's fix that up a little bit. But yeah, there you go. Again, that uh, Rotolocura pole is very, very helpful. Not that you couldn't do that with the uh, with the straps either, these guys down here, but uh, yeah, I just find them a little bit hard to work with in comparison. But uh, yeah, there you go. You can set the inner up as its own little net tent. Oop, let me zoom out here. There you go, you can set the uh, inner up as its own little net tent. Now there's the size of everything right there. You got the uh, uh, Ruta Lacura pole. Um, you got the main body right there and then the insert. Now don't be dismayed. They do look a little bit big, but I mean, these things, I mean, they flatten down, they flatten down very, very well. And uh, yeah, you could easily, you could easily fit this into a pack. I tried in my catalyst and there was absolutely no problem fitting this in the top. But um, yeah, there you go. That's basically the size that you're looking at. 
And again, you could either choose a Ruta Lacora pole or you can use the straps and use your own uh, trekking poles. Great product, great product indeed. Mm -hmm.